Commonwealth Games in 2014 have an initiative uh, for each region in Scotland to support a second team. Dumfries and Galloway have been appointed as the region uh, for Northern Ireland and Grenada. We in Northern Ireland have brought uh, a group of children from all sections of the community over to participate in an active schools event. The children that we have brought over are from the Craig Avon area, uh, part of the Craig Avon area learning community. And uh, what we hope to benefit from the engagement of that group is uh, to gain support within their schools in the Craig Avon area for the Northern Ireland team. Each child will benefit from having been a volunteer at an active games and, uh, and learning, learning the benefits of volunteering. Some of them are participating in examination PE classes and they will benefit. Today we have the active games final. We have the 16 teams from across the region, our 16 school clusters representing the 16 nations of the Commonwealth. And today, Stranraer will be representing the country of Northern Ireland. And they will be coming to compete in eight sports. We have 510 athletes all together, representing 16 teams. They're taking part in eight sports across three of our major venues in Dumfries. And of course, they're all from one region. And on top of that, we have thousands of spectators. Dumfries and Galloway, as you know, have been twinned with Northern Ireland in support of the second team. And it's just about building a relationship with Northern Ireland and links, not just in sport, but in education and culture. And it's absolutely great that we can have 25 to 30 young people from Northern Ireland coming here today to help deliver the eight sports of our games. And it's just about building that links. And from today, our winners will come together to form Team DG, which will then hopefully return to Northern Ireland in 2014 to take on the young teams in Northern Ireland. We begin to take forward that relationship that I have no doubt will blossom as time goes on. Well, it's about community. It's about bringing people closer together. The young leaders here today are sharing an experience with one another and are learning that enriches their lives. You're working with the um, disability group, that's today. And we met some new people there. Didn't really think that it was like that possible for them to get involved in as much, but yeah, found it it was. Yeah, it was just really good to learn new stuff, and because I learned a completely new sport that I didn't know about. Because I'm now, I might actually like go and join the sport now and start it, and because it looked really good fun. <laughs> it seems good. I've never really thought that this would happen to me. Look, it's a good opportunity, and. Hope that I can be able to do it next year in the Commonwealth Games and continue. Guys, we're looking to not just explore a relationship, but actually cement opportunities in terms of exchanges, as we've seen today with the young leaders who've come over to engage, but also how participants, volunteers, coaches can engage in best practice um, across the water, so to speak. We have schools already collaborating together through sharing classrooms and Part of that work would involve children going to each other's schools to access courses, including sports courses. So we're delighted that sharing classrooms can be supporting the collaboration around Commonwealth Games. Um, we can certainly build on each other's networks and it's, it's just brilliant for the children to have further opportunities to collaborate and mix and support each other. This morning I was feeling tired but you know, see five minutes in I'm just thinking about the day and I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. It's going to be great. Unreal. It's going to be fun. Very enjoyable. Enriching. Exciting. It's fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's time, baby. <laughs>